How are you doing this fine day, my friends? Thank you so much for joining me. I hope lots, actually, not just some, but I hope lots of the magic of Merlin's Mountain will rub off on you today. And I hope you like my background. That's kind of what it looks like sometimes in the evening. It looked like that a few days ago, so I took a picture of it. We're going to use the Moonology deck this time, because uh, this is quite a moony day, really. Uh, the moon is just at the beginning of her rising cycle. She's probably about 10% full around the time you're actually watching this video. If you're watching in the future, don't worry about it. The best time to watch these videos is when you're drawn to watch them. That is very much how it goes and how it works. So we're going to have a shuffle. Let's put these aside and we'll turn over. Right, we'll turn over the top five. I don't know what they are yet. I'm finding out already. And you will find out all in good time, friends. If I can only just fan the things. I'm not very good at fanning cards out. This is definitely becoming a thing. <laughs> and what I want you to do is pick a card. Okay? You can actually pick all five of them if you want. We can pick any number between one and five of them. But there are five cards here. We're going to go one, two, three, four, and... Oh dear, and that one's number five, okay. Very tatty fan, but we got there in the end. <laughs> right, now what do you think of my moon mug? I, I really like this mug. I saw it in the market. If, if you're local at all, you might know Martin Harrison, and I think he's got something to do with the, the market store. It's called Angel Whispers in, in Carmarthen Market. I just fell in love with this mug, so. Mm -mm -mm. So I got my water in it. So, have you let your inner psychic pick a card yet? That is the thing. Um, why is it, I was going to say, Moony Day, right? She's about 10% full. 62nd Tarot today came up, the moon. And there's just been lots of conversations about the moon going on all day today. So, I think Grandmother Moon is uh, most certainly making her presence felt big style. So, that's why I thought we'd do Moonology. Okay, you ready for card number one? I'm not sure I am, but let's go for it. And this is... Full moon in Cancer, a personal issue, issue reaches resolution. Now, this has to be a good thing. Of course, we're not on full moon, all right? These cards just channel the energy of, you know, different phases of the moon. That's what we're looking at here. So, full moon in Cancer, and a personal issue reaching resolution. Well, that's going to be a happy thing for Cancerians, because Cancerians can kind of worry a bit. And unfortunately, because of that... Uh, a lot of people see them as like crabby, as, as sort of overcritical, that kind of thing. Well, you know, if someone is actually being overcritical of you, just, you know, push them to one side. And cancers, if someone's being overcritical of you because they think you're being overcritical, see what you can do about it, okay? Just kind of make your love known because really all, all the kind of cancerian poking and pushing is all something to do with showing love. It's compassion. It's wanting the best outcome for people and being possibly a little bit paranoid or at least a little bit worried that people aren't going to get the outcome they desire or the outcome they deserve. So there is the card. We've got Cancer the Crab there showing in the glory of the full moon. I love this card. I love all these cards, actually. Uh, that's why I do this. I just love cards, you know. I suppose I would say this, but uh, this is why I've chosen to do it. So there is card number one for your delectation and delight. They're not only hard to find, they're kind of quite hard to get hold of as well. Here's card number two. Ah, whatever will it be? The end of a tough cycle approaches, it says, and it's full moon in Capricorn. Well, strong moon energy in these cards so far. That's two full moon cards in a row. Full moon in Capricorn. The end of a tough cycle approaches... Well, actually, as we come into this uh, this new moon cycle, which is in Aquarius at the time I'm doing this video, she just uh, entered Aquarius at the weekend, and that's when the new moon came in. Uh, so it comes, comes right after the Capricorn moon cycle. So this is actually fairly fresh energy at the moment. And of course, the, the Capricorn thing is to hang on tight. And no doubt if any of you guys are cappies, you're, you're holding on tight to something at the moment because the Aquarius moon is kind of taking it all, you know, far-reaching. Um, Aquarius, it's, 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 it's future focus, 
basically, and that doesn't always sit well with Capricorns, fact of life, because Capricorns, if things are good, Capricorns want to keep them that way. Even if things aren't so good, if they're okay, a Cappy will hang on to it. And the thing to do, friends, whatever sign you are, is just kind of let go, because the universe is always flowing, it's always trying to bring you new experiences, new delights, and a new abundance, actually. That's the thing. And if we try and stay in one place, if we try and hang on to everything that, that we've got and not allow anything to change, then we don't really make as much progress as would be desirable, as we could, uh, you know, otherwise make if we were willing to let go. So think about that. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Could be, there could be no better reason for actually taking the attitude that you're going to let go at this point, you know, and, and make things go in a new direction for you. Because always, always with abundance, it's like being on a conveyor belt. You know, uh, if, if you imagine a conveyor belt at a store, actually a grocery store or anywhere else they have a conveyor belt at a cash till, you know. Um, you, you've seen how it happens, you know, the, the uh, conveyor belt will keep going until there's an item at the front and then it'll just stop until the cashier picks that item up and then it'll roll along to the next one. And this is what happens if you don't pick up your item, if you don't make use of your abundance and actually enjoy it, where is the next lot of abundance going to come from? It might just be like two inches behind this lot of abundance that you're looking at now, but it's not going to come forward until you use the abundance that you've got. So uh, do be willing to let go if you pick card number two, particularly poignant. And any happies watching, I think that's one for you too. In this card, we have, in this card number three, we have third quarter moon. No sign associated with it. And it says adjustments are required. Well, aren't adjustments always required? That is a thing of life. You know, we, every, every day, every day we face some kind of challenge. It might be a tiny, tiny little challenge, but there's always, it might be a big one, but there's always a challenge there. And the thing to do is actually to make some kind of adjustment to go along with it. Now, on the one hand, you don't want to change who you are, you don't want to change everything you stand for. But on the other hand, why not make those little adjustments? Like every day is a gift. And as a spiritualist medium, I often meet people who've been bereaved and, you know, they've lost someone they love and they just, they can't wait for their time to come when, when they can go into the spirit world and be reunited. And... Um, it's very hard sometimes to explain to those people that every day is actually a gift and it really is, you know. It's very cruel to lose someone you love and they're not there anymore. But every day is an absolute gift and there's always something you can do with it. And it's always, always actually not just a continuation of the day before. There's some purpose, there's some value in every single day of your life. Really, there is. So adjustments being required, no bad thing, really. A bit awkward for many of us. I get a bit fed up of change sometimes, but uh, any psychologist will tell you life is change. And if, every, if your life stays the same all the time, it invariably gives rise to mental health issues, depression, all kinds of things it can cause, actually. But it's just because it isn't natural for there to be no change. I really do sometimes wish things would just stay the same, but they won't. It's a fact. Life is change. And if you kind of, you know, grab hold of that change and go with the flow on it, it's going to bring you something new, good, something positive. You know, it's going to bring you great things. I've had some really good days this week. It's only Tuesday, actually. So I suppose I've only had two because <laughs> there I've only been to. But I've had some really good days this week, most definitely. And things have got sorted out that I never thought would get sorted out. Or at least I didn't think that gets sorted out for a long time. So whatever you're longing for, just be willing to make that little adjustment because adjustments do need to be made. Uh, it's the third quarter moon is the energy of this card. So, you know, in, in the third quarter, really, we can actually... It, it's part of the waning cycle, really. And in the third quarter, in any part of the, the, all the last quarter, when it's the waning moon, it's more of a time for asking the, the moon magic to take away things that no longer serve you, quite honestly. And then when the moon is, is rising, as she is at the moment, as the, the day I put this video out, she's in the first quarter, 
Uh, that's the time for asking the moon to bring things in that do serve you. So the cycle will always work. So third quarter moon, adjustments need to be made. And I would say, friends, that involves letting go as much as you can actually bring yourself to do. So important to let go. Mm. I've got water in there. I usually drink tea when I'm doing these, but I just, at the moment, the weather is quite cold. And one of the big advantages of that is uh, I get absolutely ice cold water out of the tap or out of the faucet, as we say in some parts of the world. And it's just, you know, you'd have to buy a really expensive uh, fridge to get water as cold as that. It's an absolute, mm, I just love it. And of course, water is ever so natural. Not the stuff that comes out of the taps all that often, to be honest, but it is nice. Okay, so card number four, what will it be? Oh, now this one looks really nice. A new start is coming and there is the card for the new moon. Well, we are in first quarter at the moment. We're just a couple of days out from the full moon, which came in on Sunday, and the full moon, the new moon, which came in on Sunday, and a new start is coming. Great, well, we are certainly in a time of new beginnings here, but when you think about it, aren't we always in a time of new beginnings? Hmm? The only time we're not in a time of new beginnings is when we've decided we're going to hang on to the past. Seems to be a theme in this reading, actually. I think that'll have to go into the title. So tempting to hang on to the past, it really is. But, you know, you don't get that new start then. Or if you do, and this is a tragedy, maybe you do get the new start and you just ignore it. You just let it go. Well, sometimes that's no bad thing if you're not ready. But if you possibly can, take advantage of this new start energy because... Um, it's it's a bit like, you know, if you go to the airport and you're going to fly somewhere, you know, you have to get there a ridiculously long time before the plane actually takes off. And you can get there a bit late and the plane's still there on the runway, but the doors are closed and you can't get on it, you know. So take advantage. If, if you really feel a new start coming towards you, if you picked card number four, and uh, or if you picked all five then think about that new start think about making the most of it okay making the most of the energy because there's always some good energy around for moving forward and for changing things so you might as well help yourself to it and enjoy it that's what i say right mm. Wow, right, okay, here we go. Card number five, outcome card. If you picked all five, if you picked card number five, it's card number five. Emotions are running high. Super moon. And that was actually a super moon that we just had last weekend. So, you know, this is really kind of quite poignant. Emotions are running high. You do get highly strung feelings sometimes in astrology, which kind of play into everything that goes on in the world. Uh, also, when we get geomagnetic storms, we can get very kind of, uh, very highly strung energy. And uh, keep watching this channel, by the way, because we're going to do some more in-depth kind of technical astrology stuff, looking at sunspots, looking at geomagnetic storms, which happen when there's been some kind of ejection from the face of the sun. The disturbance takes about six days, I think, to get to uh, to Earth. And then we get this kind of geomagnetic unrest, which... Uh, if you, if you don't know about it, you don't notice it. But once you know about it, you can't miss the effect it has on people. That's all I can say. So emotions are running high. But deep in the colour colour of this card is purple. There is a lot of purple in this. You know, the moon is essentially kind of blue and white as we look at it at night, isn't it? But it is quite a purpley blue. So healing is there, really. And when emotions run high... As tricky as it is, as difficult as that can be, and as much as it can cause arguments and kind of distress between people, at the same time, it's only when you get that, that highly strongness that the truth starts coming out and then you can do something to actually heal things, to actually make a difference. And that's so important. A friend of mine once said to me that, you know, people only tell the truth when they're drunk. And I, I'm not sure what I think about that. I mean, I, I think probably they do. Uh, but it's, it's not realistic truth, you know. If someone's blind drunk, then, it, you know, it's what they'd like to think or it's what they'd like to do or have happen. But, you know, the, the reason they have to be drunk to think of it is that it would never really work out in real life or practically actually take shape. 
Um, so there you go. I'm not suggesting anyone gets drunk at this point, as it's never a positive thing to do in my... Well, it can be, but I, I don't think it is, really. But uh, emotions running high is really what I'm talking about. And that super moon energy is actually with us at the time this video comes out. So if you're watching it on day one as it goes up, take notice of that. So there, friends, is today's rather quick moonology reading. Thanks so much for watching. And... Um, you know, do bear in mind, everything is a cycle. You know, what's not working for you now is going to work for you in the future. And speaking of cycles, there are always, always more videos coming out on the Merlin's Mountain channel. So please hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you'd like a birth chart or your own private psychic mediumship, whatever kind of psychic, whatever kind of spiritual reading you want basically this is what i do for a living so uh drop me an email the email address is down there in the description below this video where it says dot 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 more tap that it will open up and it will say email me uh three five a and d eight three at gmail.com that is three five a and d eight three at gmail.com i'm very much looking forward to hearing from you guys leave me a comment we'll share the journey give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this one see you again in a future video love and light blessings and peace